Now let's see the topic of averages. So average of n values is equal to sum of all the n values divided by number of you know number of elements. So in this case since we assume that the number is n you can say that sum of elements divided by n. Okay. Now <coughs> for example if you take numbers like this let us say I have 20 and then 60, 10, 40, 30 and 80. So how many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If I add them all up <coughs> what is average is add them all up and divide by number. So 20 plus 60 plus 10 plus 40 plus 30 plus 80 it is going to be 240. Now average is nothing but divide them with the number of elements. So how many 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6. 6. It is going to be 40. Right. Now one thing is we got the average as 40 and the number of items is 6 given these two numbers we can find out the sum of elements as well so which means sum of elements the average equal to sum of elements divided by number of elements similarly sum of elements equal to average into number of elements so sometimes we are going to use that formula as well so what is the other one sum of elements equal to average into number of elements right and now one more property is if you have collection of elements like here you have collection of elements and let us assume that they are all of different values. So in this case all are of different values a minimum value is 10 and maximum value is 80 and the average is 40. Always the relationship between these three numbers is minimum value is less than or equal to average value is less than or equal to max. Now if all the values are equal then minimum value will be equal to average will be equal to maximum that is why we are going to have equal symbol here got it okay now average of equal valued see average of equal valued elements is equal to the element value now assume that if all the elements six elements are like 10 10 10 let us say three elements i have which are all 10 10 10 then what is the average of it 10 plus 10 plus 10 divided by 3 see one common mistake you do is Whenever I ask, whenever a question about average is asked, you, d you add it and divide it by 2. So that is not the average. You have divided it with the number of elements. That is the only thing you should be careful about. Now other way of looking at the average is, average of n elements can be defined as the equal distribution of the sum of n values over all the values. So if you want to see this average in some other way, you know, it is like, some values are having uh, you know higher values and some are having lower values right so if you look at this uh, you know representation let us say i want to represent all the values using a bar graph so some values are higher and some values are lower right and some values are lower like this right some values are high and some values are really low now it is nothing but take out the higher part from the higher values and try to distribute it over all the values like this you take this part put it here you cut this part put it here right that is how you can understand the averages see this average of n values can be defined as equal distribution of the sum of n values over all the values so you take all the values and you try to distribute them equally right so in this example if you try to understand how did we get 40 is see this now here here i have only 20 okay so from this I can pull out 20 and I can give it to this then what does it become it will be 40 and it will be plus 20 which means it will also become 40 got it and similarly here I have 80 so I can pull out 30 from it making it 50 and I can give that 30 to this making it 40 right now here it is only 30 so I can pull out 10 from it making it 40 and I can give it to this making it 40. So it is nothing but distributing the you know distributing the sum in such a way that everyone is going to get equal distribution that is what. So equal distribution is what is average okay fine. Hi if you are planning to do masters then doing masters abroad is better than doing masters in India. I will give you all the reasons. So first reason is out of 1 lakh students who take GATE every year, there are only 500 seats in old IITs. So all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5% and IITs 
universities better than IITs. They have very good acceptance rate, like 30 percent, 40 percent. But all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5 percent. And if you are working hard to get into IIT Bombay, IIT Bombay's ranking is 177, and IIT Roorkee's ranking is 400. If you are happy to get into IIT Roorkee, then getting into universities better than IIT Roorkee is easier compared to getting into IIT Roorkee. And looking at the salaries for computer science, of, uh, for software jobs, if you have done your masters in computer science in US, the salaries are ranging from 80 lakhs per year to 1.2 crore per year. So even if you take an average of 1 crore per year, your savings will be much higher than the salaries in India. After taxes and your cost of living, you can easily save 40 to 50 lakhs uh, per year. And in India, the maximum jobs that you get is around 30 lakhs. So your savings will be much greater than the salaries in India. And these are all the services that we provide. University shortlisting. So depending on your profile, we will shortlist what are the universities that you have to apply. And statement of purpose building. And then LOR guidance. And GRE and English test assistance. And education loan assistance. So you don't have to have any collateral, which, which means without any security, now you can get education loan. Getting education loan is very simple these days. And whatever the amount fee, the amount of uh, fee that you have, you have a range of uh, universities. You can apply for 10 lakh universities, 20 lakh universities or 50 lakh universities. But whatever it is, you are going to get complete education loan and you can pay off your education loan in one year after you, getting a, after you get a job. And then we do, visa assistance, mock visa interviews, and then connecting with the university alumni. So now you might ask why we should join Game of Visas. So the answer is we have 90% success rate, 99% success rate. And these are all the destinations that we guide the students to. So we guide students to any country that you want to go. So now it is not just USA. We guide to UK, Germany, Australia, Canada. So we guide we guide students to all the countries. We work with all the destinations. And if you are interested in going abroad, you have to just drop us a message on this WhatsApp number 9494 Okay, thank you.